I've never seen a black widow in such a vulnerable position. However, it's probably the best position she could find in this large field of grass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put her in this capsule I have right here in my pocket. And we're gonna get a better look at her. Let's go ahead and we're do that We're gonna do it now. quick because I don't wanna get bit by this one. This one, oh, she went down quick. Okay, she's down towards the bottom of that grass. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can find her. The black widow is a venomous species of spider in the genus Latrodectus. Similar spider species include the brown widow and the Australian redback. There she is, she's coming out. Okay, she's moving. All right, let's grab her up. Females are well known for their distinctive black and red coloring, often resembling an hourglass, and for the fact that they will occasionally eat their mate after reproduction. The southern black widow is native to North America, while the brown widow is native to South Africa or South America, they're really not sure. However, both have intersecting ranges. While the southern black widow is venomous, the venom is seldom fatal to healthy humans. Okay, now I must admit, while I've seen those obvious markings before the hourglass, I can't say that I've ever noticed additional markings on a black widow. The southern black widow actually has three red dots on the top of its abdomen, with one of them being lined in white. Really stunning looking. There's a reason I would have never noticed this, because black widows typically hang upside down in their webs and live in pretty tight quarters. This, my friends, is the infamous black widow. What a beautiful species. Certainly has struck fear into the hearts of many, many men. But I think, naturally, they just want to leave us alone, go about their day, hunt, and reproduce like any other. Animal. Speaking of hunting, something actually started going after this black widow inside of this observation cube. I have my suspicions as to what this might be, but that's for another video. People playing with our emotions have created an unnecessary fear of these arachnids. They are actually quite valuable to our ecosystem. This insect did not stop chasing after this black widow. It actually perched on my hair for a second, trying to get a good angle on it. However, this black widow was completely protected inside of this observation cube. I'm not one to interfere with the course of nature, but it wouldn't be natural for this black widow to become prey to another insect, not while in my observation cube. I will show why it is not necessary to be scared of these insects. They typically just want to escape us. I wanted to do one stunt, let it crawl across my hand to prove to y'all just how harmless they actually are if they're just left alone. It just wants to go back to its burrow and reproduce. And that's all you need to see. Crawl right across. 